Workers are protesting in L.A. and across the country to boost their wages. They're fighting for $15 an hour. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in downtown L.A. to show us. Cara. Well, the next protest is expected to start at the McDonald's just behind us within the next hour. And we've seen police come and go from here as they prepare for that to start. About 300 fast food workers and their supporters chanted inside this McDonald's early this morning. <laughs> Hours later, the group swelled and began marching through downtown LA, heading towards another restaurant. Similar demonstrations are taking place in 150 cities across the country today. The workers are calling for $15 an hour and the ability to unionize. Such protests have been intensifying during the past two years. At the same time, a push has been underway by Democrats in the nation's capital and some cities' leaders to increase overall minimum wages. We're going to raise the minimum wage. On Labor Day, Mayor Eric Garcetti proposed that LA's wage be increased to $13 an hour by 2017. The current minimum for the state is nine dollars. McDonald's worker Jameer Calhoun says it's not enough to support his family. It's been really rough. We've been uh, we've been having to uh, rely on public assistance, um, um, parents, family, friends, you know, just to just to get by. Business groups say the industry could have trouble supporting the wage increases while keeping prices low. McDonald's issued a statement today saying in part, we believe that any minimum wage increase should be implemented over time so that the impact on owners of small and medium sized businesses like the ones who own and operate the majority of our restaurants is manageable. Burger King similarly stated, BKC respects the rights of all workers. However, Burger King Corporation does not make scheduling, wage, or other employment-related decisions for the franchisees, who independently own and operate almost 100% of Burger King's restaurants. And some of the protesters taking part in all this today recently attended a union convention where they were trained on civil disobedience tactics, so we're told to expect some stepped-up measures during the demonstrations today. Reporting live here from downtown Los Angeles, Cara Finstrom, CBS2 News.